I don't need my keys. Kaboom. Away. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I'm in my room here at the San Jose Academy of Music slash The Point Church. And I'm gonna take you through my process of uh, making a drum cover. It is super tedious. It is super fun, despite how much it entails. <laughs> but, uh, here we go. So let's do this. Let me talk about my equipment. Of course, you need sticks. I definitely need my laptop. Of course, the most important thing, <laughs> well, sticks alongside them, but the rest of the kit. Let me talk about the area where I make all the videos. So, right here is where I sit. I am holding the GoPro. Okay, I use that GoPro um, for all my videos. Right here in this window is where I usually put the GoPro and that is how one of my angles is filmed. Um, I also use the GoPro mainly as my source of drum sound. I have no mics. This is all acoustic sound. Um, and I do my best from there. Um, I do not have the funds for mics right now, so. <laughs> I just make do with the GoPro. And then I need the laptop, so I'm gonna start transferring. Yep, there you go. Laptop in place on that chair. And uh, this is how I end up listening to what I need. By the way, that's Tim Mackey, he's a pastor. <laughs> so I usually have a book underneath the laptop just to help it kind of balance and not overheat. After putting the music stand there, I usually set up my iPad. So there you have it, the iPad is set up. This is how I get my other angle of me playing drums. So I have the camera set up and ooh, voila. So this is how I get my other angle. <laughs> um, I wonder if the GoPro will pick that up, but yeah. The iPad picks up this angle, and this is how I get the other angle for the drum set. Um, so there you go. I almost forgot one of the uh, most important parts of being able to play along to a track. Headphones. I love these headphones. They're the uh, Boss. They're Boss headphones. They cancel out so much sound, but not so much so that you don't hear your drumming anymore. Um, so it cancels up, it cancels out just enough so that I'm not making myself deaf while I'm playing. I hit pretty hard, especially if it's a rock song, um, which is most of what I do. And the sound is really good. So the sound is really good, protects my hearing. It's a winner. It's a winner product. Doors locked. I always make sure the door is locked so no one can disturb my recording. All in all, that's what the setup looks like. So I've got my iPad and my laptop. I wonder if you guys can see it. And uh, that's the setup. Sticks, earphones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm pretty much good to go. Let's play. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the clock. It says about 4, 46, 4, 47. And uh, I had a lesson. I taught two lessons from 2.45 to 3.45, half an hour each. And so I learned the song. I practiced from 1.30 to about 2.30. And then after 3.45, after my second lesson today, I started practicing again, and it took me about another hour to learn the entire song. So now begins the process of trying to get a great take in. 
which will end up being the thing that I end up posting online. It usually takes more than one take. <laughs> and there have been days when I had like 20 takes. <laughs> but um, here we go, I'm, gonna, I'm going to attempt to get that anime song in. And I'm going to show you a little bit of it, like right now. <laughs> 